Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about how are we going to use Google Colab and use TensorFlow 2.0 version in Google Colab. If you're not familiar with Google Colab, go to Google and search for Colab Google. The first link would be colab.research.google.com. When you click on this link, it will open up something like this. If you're doing it for the first time, you may have to register for the service. It's totally free of cost and you can start writing code. Once you are on the screen, go to file and say new Python 3 notebook. And you would be here. This is a notebook which is available on Google Colab and let's say import tensorflow sdf and let's do a version also so print please note that if you click on this this will be a new code so print tf which is tensorflow underscore underscore version underscore underscore let me just first import and you can see that RAM and disk. So it says that the default version would soon be switched to TensorFlow 2.0x, but it's not yet. And if I print the version, it's going to be 1.15. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to install version 2.0 and still and, and then use it in Colab itself. So add a new code over here and say not pip install tensorflow equal to equal to 2.0. This is the command. This is the command to install tensorflow 2.0. I'm going to run it. You can see that it starts to install and it's going to take some time. Once it's completed installation, we will have to restart the runtime. In the meanwhile, it's doing it. Let me show you a little bit about runtime. On the top, you would see runtime. It says run all. That means run all cells. These are known as cells. Run before, run the focus cell. And there is one change runtime type over here. You see that runtime 3. Remember, we selected Python 3 notebook. And in the hardware accelerator, you would see G none is by default CPU, GPU, or TPUs. It makes sense to change it to GPUs for faster execution, but I don't want to do it now because it's going to stop the process which is running in the background. And you would see that the runtime over here, it says that the backend is this and it's a Google engine, compute engine. And once it's completed, it will ask you to refresh the runtime. I'm going to show you that now as well. So it says that the following packages are installed, blah, blah, blah. You must restart the runtime in order to use newly installed versions. Click on restart runtime. If you don't want to do that, you can go over here and sorry, go over here and say restart all runtimes. Either one is fine. I'm going to click on restart runtime over here and say yes. And it says initializing, restarting, all restarted. Please make sure to comment this line out so that you don't accidentally run it. <laughs> and then import TensorFlow. If you do this time, it's not going to give you that message because now the version is 2.0. So that's how you would do TensorFlow 2.0 version on the Google Colab. In the video series to come, we are going to use this concept to use TensorFlow 2.0. If you want to do it on your local machine, you can use pip install TensorFlow 2.0 or any other cloud, you would use the same thing. If you want to do it on Azure ML Services or GCP, Google Cloud Platform Data Lab, or even IBM Watson, you would do the same. 
even for anacondas too. So you, now you have touched TensorFlow 2.0 version. Keep watching.